All right, guys and gals in YouTube land. Uh, so this is the invention of the day here. Um, I had a job a long time ago. I had to make three sizes of different um, bushings. And I came up with this idea. Um, instead of constantly, you know, moving the carriage on the lathe and, and uh, figuring out where I have to be or setting like a depth stop every time, um, I came up with this idea. I would literally just set it, you know, put a uh, caliber in between the two cutters on the end here, uh, set it to where I wanted. I put these locking collars on the inside, and then I'd run the nut down, and i kind of lock everything together. Um, two things. I wanted to add a spring to it. Uh, not sure if that's going to help or not. Um, if I did ever remake this someday, uh, I didn't get the holes uh, perfect press fit on the end here for the shafts. So I ended up welding them on the back side, and they're working pretty good. Uh, the other regret is using a coarse threaded rod. Um, I would definitely go with a fine one. And what I did on the end here was um, I bored a hole so that the threads could fit through loosely. Um, but then in a lathe, I machined the groove, right? on the end and then I drilled and pinned the groove so that this could spin and it moves this cutter in and out. Um, I have a lot of slop in that. You guys could probably see it moving in and out. Uh, it's hard to do it one handed, but anyway, you get the idea. So I would definitely re remake the center here and I would make these shafts in the first cutter a much tighter uh, press fit. But you know how it goes. If it works, it kind of stays like this for the rest of your life, right? All right. Well, anyway, project for the day, like I said, spring, and I'm going to make a nice little knurled um, knob here. I'm going to thread it quarter 20, screw it on, and then I'm going to put another nut and uh, use it as a jam nut, and then we'll show you how it works. guys I got the rough shape going here um, you know I'll probably end up parting it like somewhere over here give a little knob and I'll put a quick knurl on it uh, next operation I'm gonna bring in a uh, 732nd drill bit and then my quarter 20 tap like I said before I'm gonna tap the threads all the way through I'm gonna hold it just how it is now so I have a lot of strength and then after the threads are cut you know, I'll bore it all the way through because I only have like a quarter of an inch into the collet here uh, bore it through, tap it through. Um, hopefully I could do that. Uh, I'll tap it as far as I can and then just cut it like, no, sorry, narrow it first. I'll probably, uh, put a groove in here, um, somewhere just to stop the narrow and I'll bring the narrow across to that point, uh, and then part it off.
quarter 20 uh, tap in the tap holder here. The back of it has a nice taper for the live center. I just bring it in. Kind of, you know, this is aluminum, guys, so it's a lot easier than what some of you are used to. Um, every couple cranks, I bring the live center back in. I'll back it out just to clear the chips a little, then go back in. Um, just remember not to bring it in like that and then back it out because now I'm pushing against this. Um, I leave this unlocked anyway, so in case I do that by accident, um, you know, my, my tailstock can slide backwards, uh, or I leave it snug, I should say. But like I said, we're not doing anything crazy here. Uh, just go nice and easy, you know, one turn in, half a turn back just to clear the threads, a little lubrication, works like a charm. All right, guys, I'm not gonna show you how I got the knurl done, but this is the cheap junk uh, knurling tool I have. This thing has so much slop in it. Uh, it's hard to actually get a consistent knurl out of it. Um, what I try to do is set it so that if I push all the play that way, the, uh, the knurls kind of look flat, you know, or parallel to the surface here. Um, I'm going to come in and I want to just shape this a little bit and give it like a little bit of a taper on both sides, kind of make it, uh, look a little schnazzy, you know? Right, guys i got it mounted in the lathe uh nothing fancy here i set the locking collars one and two um of course the battery just died on my uh digital calipers excuse me um but anyway you guys get the point uh this is the knob i just made so basically i'm just going to bring this in until it seats just like that kind of lock it down don't have to go that crazy then i'm going to bring in the lock nut all right, I got it roughly set to half of an inch. Um, but what I do is, you know, I mess with it a little bit. Uh, I'll take a first test cut. And then if it's slightly under, I'll kind of bring this lock and collar out a little bit. Uh, this has a little bit of play, and it kind of helps with the fine tuning after a while. Um, but once you get it set, guys, it's rock solid, and it'll just make the half inch bushing over and over. Um, you can see here I offset the parting tools just a little bit so that this one here um, will take the first cut and cut all the way down to the center and then this one will kind of follow behind it and then it'll part off the bushing. guys try to get the chest cam going here so i have two free hands Ooh, high tech huh all right uh let's put this guy in here get it as best we can I'm not gonna go that crazy um let me flip this around here see yeah that's much better and we can see it's roughly 518 thousandths. Um, like I said earlier, I didn't set uh, the parting tools to any specific size. I did it with a ruler just to um, roughly half inch. This is the precise size. So it's 518 thousandths. And then going to check the other one. That seems to be the best way to grab it, right there. And that's about, f let me see, I should be coming in with this guy. Uh, 
It's about 520 thousandths right there. Um, yeah, about 520. Let's see, 520 is good. So we're two thousandths off. I'll take that any day of the week. Um, I had a 3,000 tolerance on these parts anyway. Uh, they were just brackets for a, um, a disc brake system. Um, anyway, get rid of those. are driving me nuts. But 518 to 520 thousandths is definitely fine for these parts, guys.